mind, how does it relate to the religion, or in particular the existence of God? Mm -hmm. That cannot be proven. That's true. Could you comment on that concept? Yeah. Um, people often ask me, do you believe in God? And I say, which God? Uh, Medusa? Ahura Mazda? You know, um, any of the thousands and thousands of gods that are out there. No, I don't see any compelling evidence to believe in a god. I think, my personal opinion, and I'm not a great philosopher in this respect, but my personal opinion is that religion is probably an attempt, an early attempt, a primitive attempt to explain the world, and the easiest way to do it is to invent an agency that is all-powerful and can do all these things that you don't understand. Uh, you're walking along a path, a rock hits you on the back of the head. Perfectly clear day, you look around, you say, somebody threw that rock. Well, if nobody threw the rock, then there must be a rock god or something like that who throws rocks and hits you in the back of the head. You've got to have an explanation for it. We human beings, and all animals, when you come right down to it, they want to have an explanation of the world around them. Oh, I do tricks. I do sleight of hand tricks for dogs and make them nuts. <laughs> you know, you, you do a thing like, uh, oh, what have I got here? Uh, I did, well, you, well, the, 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 the car, you know, do this sort of a thing with the dog, and the dog goes nuts when he goes to look where it is, because we've spoiled his expectation of the world. No, I didn't put it away, I put it in here. Um, it has spoiled the dog's expectation of the world, and it really worries them. You see them actually, and they're worried, they're really grieved by it, they're, they're bothered by it, and uh, more crazy dogs just because they come in contact with me. <laughs> But it challenges them in a way that they've never been challenged before because their expectations of a real world aren't, have not been met. And that's what happens with people. They want an explanation. And inventing a god or a series of gods, a whole panoply of gods, a panorama of gods, of you, is a very easy way to do it. Oh, I don't have to think about rain because that's the rain god and that's how the water comes down out of the sky. That's the easy way to do it, in my opinion. This is my own personal um, analysis of the situation. Uh, it may or may not be true. I don't know. And I haven't really, uh, no, I haven't read Kant. Don't get me into that. For more of James Randi and the Educational Foundation, make sure you visit randy.org.